Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Don't make me regret telling you where she is. <clears throat> Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. <laughs> Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? 
Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Shrooms and the leaves of some weed. They say it fucks you up like in the old days. Then I'll drop by.
problem. Kind of freak? Go away! Found some powdered milk in the old school, hidden behind this collapsed metal cabinet. What's it matter? We can't afford water. Some folks are saying we gotta solve this water problem once and for all. I hope so.
commanders killed, they turn the place upside down. Got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's got to take care of the fighters roaming the streets around the bizarre dawn. I've never believed the night runners were real. Just fairy tales, if you ask me. Anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Uh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. Why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Hopefully. I'm looking for work. 
I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the surplus. Uh, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? Honey and wisdom. Both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten it with a smile? Might open more doors for you. Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes. And not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Oh, why? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. I don't go out of my way to call attention to myself. Another admirable trait. You're looking better and better for this job. Yeah, which is? But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Later. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out.
Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job, then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Let's haul him in, boys. <clears throat>
How did you die? Oh, you asshole! You set me up. What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me. They have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you... Wouldn't you want to find him? Oh, sorry. No dice. I'll find my answers. You're on your own. I... understand. Good luck, Aiden. And I'm truly sorry. to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers. And that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there.
Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before Zero Hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Well, you said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. From the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology, and an armed faction to enforce it. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Back in the day, I had a huge and massive and well and a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Here, 
I sell the real deal. <coughs>
Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see the goddamn UV lights. What were you even thinking? I've never seen someone watch a job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. You couldn't screw it up more than you did. Give me a break, man. It's not a big deal. Shut up. Hey, I'm trying to think how to fix this. You're going. What a day. No frigging way I can do it. Five years of learning hey, and all for nothing. The move for some I just money. have to get it hey. right this time. Alberto needs to see me. Come enough. on, I won't bite. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! I hear the butcher's men are high on some kind of weird drug. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen, he lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time 
my smile. I've always thought that every ending is a chance. Hey, that's the pilgrim. Now's our chance, buddy. Have you seen a ginger with a mohawk? Bastard stole my last bottle of water. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. That to be some. Water runs out, we're all gonna be flooded. PK and civilian alike. Thank you. 
Five years. You. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's a craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. Parts for Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. <laughs> Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar. What are you up to these days, Aiden? Five years of learning and all for nothing. Hey, hangman. How's the neck? Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. 
Win-win. Who's Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. Word on the rooftops is that Five water years of learning old. and all for nothing. Got bad I just have to get it right this time. A little space? set up my show. My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. staring at me. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Hey there.
upgrade. I have to tell my kids no food tonight. Yes. Someone with no side balls who wanted to send a message. You don't discreetly kill a military leader. Whoever killed him must have been very strong. I my kids in oh, there was a group. because of this ridiculous So it kids. couldn't have been a coincidence. What the peacekeepers are killing? Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Those night runners. Tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. It's about the only time I smile. And I see them in goddamn eyes. was a nurse when this city was still called Villador. She was among the first to go. Find something you like in the bazaar? I'm gonna have to get going, but it's been... You look familiar. Yeah, the guy you almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. A crowd of people against one infected. Odds were in your favor. Huh. I see you already got a marker. More time you spend here, more you'll understand. Our rules are strict, but that's how we survive. Sure. I didn't like Villador so far.
shooting lessons. What are you up to? Ah, yes. The military training. Keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter.
Sophie, I'm inside. No sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. <laughs>
Yeah. <sighs> 
Puck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You <laughs> get it. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Hey, Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Come back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Listen, I don't give a shit about you and your friends. But I promised Sophie I'd get you home. No one left behind. I gave my fucking word. You get it? You know what that even means? What's up? Your brother really wants to die here. I won't leave without Bernie and the crystals, Sophie. I have to get them. You know how much depends on that. Fuck. Barney! This is the last time you do things your way. Can you help him, Aiden? Okay. Right, where can I find Bertie? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry!
must be birdies. Trout should lead me to him. Not yet, but he was bleeding badly and following the trail.
wasn't going down without a... Yo, how you got that crossbow, man?
Holy shit! Brand new shipment! Shit. Thank you. 
crazy prices. Come on. Get it here.
Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh. Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Barney, you there? Barney? Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that.
things are better for us now, right? Depends. Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her.
kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was going to handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became... Full of himself, and he got cocky. Didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. 
The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Up, Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Fuck them, Aiden! Kill them all! made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them.
Inhibitor container detected. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. <laughs> Ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took them before you got there. Everything is gone. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp off the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Eight or will let us into the center.
Where's Sophie? <sighs> hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, I guess that means I should wait here. <gasps> Where are you? Mia? Oh no! 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 Joe will pay for what the I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho. And a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. Nice, right, so what's the plan now? 
From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your health! I gather you were close with Bertie? He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. To Ralph, Susie, and Bertie. To our crew.
heard everything. Let's talk.
What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. It looks like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. Go help, Sophie. But be careful, Aiden. Inhibitor container detected. Something? But I got what you need.
just this one thing. Oh, something. 